Oh my goodness. Whoa. Is that piece of that cedar we already got? Oh wow. There's your cut off. Look so, at that. I brought you some pieces of cedar in case you want to make some legs. I can put that like two of these foot stools. Yeah. Since no one can see the top of your fire. Everybody look like the third. Right there. That's what the top of it looks like. You can't use your thumb. But so, it don't mean that you give up. So you saying you're a crippled carpenter? I'm definitely a crippled carpenter. But I did panel a whole house one time with paneling with a broke leg. Hopping on one leg, I had all the paneling in the house. So it's not like it's my first time. So what are we hearing hitting the roof? We got squirrels up in the oak trees throwing acorns down on the roof here. Sounds like shotguns, don't it? It sounds like a gun going off every so often. Boy, it is loud. So two or three boards down and how many more to go? Well, the fact that these is one by tens, uh, they'll go pretty quick. It, it won't take. Won't take too long to get it done. Not as long as it took for the other. Because you were three quarters away done. 
Well, the other was one by sixes and one by eights and stuff. Ah, okay, so these are wider boards. These are way wider boards, so it'll go a whole lot faster. These are kill dried boards, which means they're like twice as hard. These were green when I put these down. Easy to drive a nail in. These are hard as a rock. But means these won't shrink as bad. Oh, no, these won't shrink at all. So there's a Good side and a bad side each. <laughs> yeah, it's a good thing and a bad thing. It all depends on how you look at it. Garlic bed ready? Yep. I think we're just going to stick it in the ground like it is. We Good. put enough garlic there to do us for what we need. Nice clothes. Yeah, this is from last year. This is our last year garlic. We didn't use all of it, so we planted it. Yep, elephant garlic.
It made a lot. Made a lot of garlic. That ain't, that ain't including what we used. No. This is what didn't ever get used. <laughs> this is what did not get used, yeah. Garlic butter something we... Well, that's what we sold. Yeah, we did good with the garlic butter this year. Oh, yeah. my goodness. Oh, the garlic butter. That's our butter. favorite. Yeah. I didn't know about these. Yeah, I'm not sure about them. Uh, they look like size. either they got bumped or something to eat yeah. into them. Yeah, these. So we're laying those out. Now, these like this. Elephant garlic is a two-year crop. This one this year will make bulbs on it. Cloves, should I say. Or that one too will make cloves. All these make cloves. So they make a round bulb the first year, and then the second year they make cloves. A lot of this was first year garlic. Yeah. That one's got two cloves. You want broke? Oh yeah, it's got. Yeah, you break them up. I can feel up. it. Yeah. Yeah. You can tell it's just. All those have cloves in them. Every one of them. Well, that one doesn't. See, that's first year. Yeah. Awesome. And don't peel all your stuff out from around them. That's kind of a protective barrier until they get going. We love elephant garlic because it does the best here. It don't have to go through all the stratification that all the other garlics have to go through. We have some in the front coming up already, don't we? Uh, we should have. It's getting, It's been cool enough and damp enough now. We should have some. Usually that's my cue. When I see that coming up, I know it's time to plant. So you're planting our elephant garlic here, right? Yeah, we're gonna get the elephant garlic. I'm gonna, uh, of course, it, it gets a lot bigger than regular garlic does. So I'm going to space it out just a little bit more because it's uh, it covers such a large area. And about how far is that? Uh, it's about 12 by 12. 12 this way, 12 that way. You're putting them 12 inches apart? Yeah. Okay. And I think that, uh, I mean, you see how big some of them get in the front. We've got clusters around there that's this big, and they just all in there everywhere, you know what I mean? Off they, of one they clove. Keep, keep expanding. I mean, once we put these here, technically, we'll they'll have, always be here. We'll yeah. have them forever. They'll always be here, yeah. They'll just keep coming back up. And that's kind of why we chose this location, is because it's really not a place that's really suitable for much of anything else. And once we put this down, it pretty much has to stay most of the year. When do you harvest garlic? Oh, late summer. Yeah, so you won't be touching this bed other than cleaning. Right. We won't, we'll just be just be um, cleaning it up, taking the weeds out, stuff of that nature, you know. Uh, I'm going to try to go back now. I'm going to leave that right there where I can see it. So that, uh, and you don't want them, you just want the tips 
to be just below the surface because when it rains, this is going to settle down. And then that'll put that tip right at the surface. We got a pretty good bit in this can here. It's going to cover more than you think. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I may have some left over now that I'm looking at it. Because you hadn't put that many out. No. This is a good bit of garlic. There's some nice, nice bulbs here. It's nice in that powder, ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> that tiller is the answer. That's one of them. You good? You glad you got one of them things? That's an investment I should have made many years ago. And if I had it, I'd have a lot better help than what I have today. <laughs> That's a piece. Yep. I don't know if it's the end, the side, or what. The garlic bed is planted. The onion bed is planted. November the 9th. We've got the onions planted up to about a quarter of the way. We still got probably three quarters of the way to go. We're going to kind of give those onions a few days to see how they do, and then we'll make a decision on whether to pull the rest of them up and go ahead and plant them. But those look like they're Hot as the sun got today, they're still standing. We'll see after a few days. Look at the honeybees. Oh, they're everywhere. I saw them yesterday. They were doing really nice. Oh, also I see the uh, Japanese uh, cucumber beetles. Uh-oh. Where? That's not good. They were flying around here. Here's one right here. You don't need them on our stuff. Hey, you do not want those. No. They're they yellow. done found the squash plants. They'll eat them up. And they just come up out of the grass stuff here when I started walking. So they're... They're here. They're here. We need a freeze. Yep. No, no right here, here. Here, here, here. This one's ready to pick. Yes. You know what we're gonna have? Oh, look at here, look at here, look at here. There's two in there. Let me see this. I here. don't think both of them's ready, but I think one is. Let's get some weight. Let's get some of this off. Look at him. You know what we're having? Ooh. What did I tell you if we had one? Look at that. Kozozel zucchini. We can have uh, spaghetti. I see it. Makes wonderful spaghetti, boy. I mean, it makes some good spaghetti. You might ought to check because we might have more. I know we got one. It ain't ready. Yeah. Uh, There's two or three more somewhere. It's just ready. Right. Oh, I mean, just right. Look, look at, that. at that. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. November the 9th. Cocazelle. How do you say that? Cocazelle? No. Co. Coco, yeah, Coco Zell. These are some of the best zucchini I have ever grown. They're an heirloom, too. These are just fantastic. Oh. Well, I mean, well, what we'll do is we got these big old landscape pots. What I'll do is, uh, oh, here's another one of them beetles. Um, I will, uh, I'll take those pots and put over them and try to get the leaves up on them as much as I can if it's going to freeze. And uh, 
but it's pretty warm right now and I don't think and we got to freeze. <laughs> it's, it's hot. It ain't warm. It's hot. Um, and you got your cabbage behind you. Yeah, see what the heat's doing to the cabbage? See how it's rolling the leaves up on it? Yeah. That's how they protect themselves from the extreme heat. They roll up. And I'm telling you. And it doesn't matter how much water because they got some oh, no, rain yesterday no, and it, stuff. It, and it, it poured down. And you're sitting here looking at this and it's like, there ain't no way, man. This, this thing is just, this, this heat's just intense. There's no, they're chemtrailing us to death up here. And, and we're trying to protect just in case deer. Yeah, we're trying uh, to see and make sure no deer or anything comes in here. Because uh, they're usually in that field right back there. Well, they come right up to right here. And then you saw, yeah, right there. They come right up to right there. And uh, all they have to do is jump that fence and come over here one night, they'd eat every one of these. So they're pretty right now. And we got two zucchini. We got two zucchinis, which is better than nothing in november it was an experiment i saved my seeds from this summer to see if they would come back true because there's no need me saving a ton of these seeds i harvested if they're not going to come back true well i planted them and so far they came back true so all those seeds i saved is good i mean this is my way of checking myself you know in the summer i save seeds in the fall i plant Praying that I'll get a harvest of something, which I did, and this lets me know that um, my seeds are good. I had 100% success on seeds down through here. Uh, every one of them came up, so. And all of them are blooming. Everyone's blooming. Well, they've been blooming herself to death, and they just put the honeybees in over next to us over here, and the honeybees has found them, and boy, they've been coming in and out of here, I mean, just like crazy, so we hit that one just right. We did. Let's go make some spaghetti. Let's make some spaghetti.